Welcome to lesson four. Weather Defender provides you with precise, up-to-the-minute weather graphics so you can know the local weather situation for yourself and take action when necessary. But how will you know when it's safe to sound the all clear? In this tutorial, we'll look at the map animator in Weather Defender. The map animator can tell you where the storms have been, where they are going, and when it is safe to sound the all clear. Animation in Weather Defender is simply a time-lapse movie of weather activity in your area. This allows you to see the movement of weather and better predict how it may impact you. Here's how it works. Every few minutes, Weather Defender captures a screenshot of the local weather activity and adds it to a video file on your computer. Accessing this file enables you to see hours of weather activity in only a few seconds. Just click the Animation button on the Map toolbar to launch the Map Animator. A new window will appear displaying the animation. A few things to note about animation in Weather Defender. Animations begin building the moment you start Weather Defender on your computer. The longer you leave Weather Defender running, the longer your animation will run. In other words, you will not be able to watch the past hour's worth of weather activity if you started Weather Defender 10 minutes ago. Also, animation screen captures will be recorded at the current map coordinates. If you continuously reposition the map, this will also be reflected in your animation. However, you may specify fixed coordinates for the animation captures under Animation Settings, which we'll discuss next. Animation settings may be accessed from the Animation button on the Map toolbar. Animation settings allow you to modify the size, duration, and geographic coordinates of your animation. To lock your animation to a specific geographic coordinate even if you reposition the screen, click the Capture at Fixed Coordinates option and enter the desired latitude and longitude dimensions. Or click Use Current to lock the animation to your current screen's view. The window size of the animation may be adjusted under the Frame Size section. The default is 640 pixels wide by 480 pixels high. If you increase this number, be careful not to set it too high, or animation captures will take longer and degrade performance. The update interval, which determines how often screens are captured, and the total length of the animation may be modified under the Capture Frame section. The larger the update interval, the faster the animation will appear to be because more time elapses between each capture. And finally, the Image Effect tab allows you to superimpose custom text and imagery over the animation video. So far, you have seen how the map animator in Weather Defender can be used to see storm movements and predict where they are going. One common and unfortunately deadly mistake people make is to sound the all clear immediately after a storm passes and the wind, rain, and lightning subside. But this can be a disastrous decision, as storms often redevelop over the same areas that were just hit. If you've lived in Tornado Alley for any length of time, you'll know this to be true. By using the animation features in Weather Defender, you can not only see where the storms have been, but also if new storms are redeveloping and on another collision course with you. This concludes Lesson 4. Thanks for watching.